truck when you're doing it. You know? When you're doing it, you saw that. I don't have to grow, you know what I mean? Let's get this. It's just. You try, Johnny's John's uh, worst enemy. Johnny's the best. Johnny's. 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 He's, he's, you're the finest, mate. Keep doing what you're doing. That's good performance. Well done, man. <laughs> Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> Well, uh, Kofi, about John Ryder, the gorilla. John Ryder, the gorilla, is the best middleweight we've got out here, right? Half times, John is let John down. But now that John knows that all John's got to do is switch on, bring him on. Bring him on. Bring him on. John will deliver. He does what he has to do. You saw it all out there tonight. You know what I mean? potential father yeah this kid has got it all this kid has got it all and so all he needs now is regular appearances regular and the self-belief he's got it now right this is a middleweight champion of the world to me watch that space all right, right? no worries all middleweights who disagree with me no, I, said, I said i'll give you 20 quid if you say no it's not you're telling me no 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 i'm not telling you i'm not telling you right so john i'm not telling you right so john John, you know, John, you know you're a good lad. You know you're a good fighter. You know you're a good boxer. And you just delivered it. When it turns out on the night, I mean, don't get me wrong, at the matches tonight, was no man, was he? He gave it all. He gave it, he came, he had all the tools in the box. He delivered, and yet, that wasn't enough to beat John Ryder. That tells you what John Ryder is all about. Do you know what I mean? So, John, keep doing what you're doing, mate. Well done, man. Cooper uh, Cash is Eiffel team in association with MTK Global. We're at the London Olympia here. Um, with me, I've got John Ryder um, with a, a great win tonight over uh, Adam Messis. I was kind of looking at this as a kind of 50 50 fight between you and Adam. I don't know why, probably some people more so would have favoured you in this fight, but I thought on paper it was quite balanced. Just due to your probably couple of results you've had that haven't gone your way recently. Um, I kind of build it 50-50, but you've, you you did it tonight, and you must be pleased with your performance. No, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon. Do you know what I mean? It's just uh, I, I felt like I had room to grow and room to produce from that. Like, that middleweight, I was just killing myself. Super middleweight, I, I was comfortable. I was, I was walking around at 12-3, 12-4 for the last two weeks of camp. Smiling at that weight, felt good, felt strong, felt sharp. I mean, uh, I probably did start a bit slow like I have done in the past, but I feel like I, uh, I boxed well and I kept, there was a lot of fresh thoughts, I weren't forcing it too much. I was probably looking for the right hook a bit too much at times, but it was a, it was a make or break station this time. I had to put it out, out there to win it, it was all on the line. You believe that you know the issues you have had throughout your career is specifically down to weight issues? or? Yeah, I believe so. I mean, it's, it's not a fact that I've, I've moved up because I'm lazy, do you know what I mean? It's, uh, I do train hard. I mean, uh, getting down and, and, and losing their last couple of pounds, it's just, it's pointless me having a 12 week training camp because all the hard work is done there. I'm, I'm killing myself in the last bit and not putting the forces in there. I'm right. What's the plan now? Obviously, new weight division, a good win for you tonight uh, on ITV. Uh, what's, what's the plan for you moving forward now, John, in your career? Oh, I, I really don't know. I, um, this opportunity came up with Charlie and Tony and Kevin and Louis. We sat down, we spoke about it, and it was a good opportunity. I wanted to, I wanted to be out soon, and this was, this was good for me. Sat, sat for us another Christmas to, to have a holiday, uh, training camp, sorry. We went away, we went to Portugal for two weeks. Sat for us away from my, my partner, my, my little girl. And, and it's all paying but mm. this was exactly the type of win against that type of opponent and name in the matches that you needed to sort of maybe even kick start your career at, and especially at a new weight. Uh, definitely, I mean, um, it, it's probably not a true super middleweight test as, as we're both moving up, but it, it was a good fight and a, and a great fight to be involved with and a, and a great fight to be victorious in, so uh, I'm happy. Picks up a belt? Yep. IBF Intercontinental? IBF International. International. Alright, well listen, it's good to see you back with a smile on your face and like I said, let's hope this sort of is a new sort of chapter in your career because uh, you know, we want to see you do well and 
congratulations tonight. Cheers, Google. All right. What about Arsenal the free one? Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about that. You won tonight. Let's talk about the respect of Fabregas though and not, not celebrating when he scored. Do you know what? A little bit of, little bit of a, a big up to Fabregas for not, because he could have rubbed it in. I mean, two, two nil up, he's lobbed check from a bad mistake. He could have done it out of by all. He, it's not in his yeah. thing, but uh, yeah, I was pleased when I didn't see him do that because more reason for Arsenal fans not to hate him even more. So. But we don't want to talk about the result. Can I just say, uh, give my love and wishes to the Moran family who are going through a bit of heartache. Yeah. I hope um, you get your justice you deserve and uh, I'm there for you. No problem. All right, Coom Cassis, John Ryder, IFL TV. Thank you very much.